Hi, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make this really pretty spring floral arrangement in a chest. I picked up my chest from Big Lots. I also have some from Dollar General, and these are just great for storing things. I usually store a lot of my craft products or my sewing inside of these. What I did today though, is I took half of the stuff that I had in this chest out and I'm leaving half of it in to go ahead and take up some of the extra space in the chest. And then I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful spring floral arrangement inside of there. Now what I did is I'm measuring the inside of the lid of the chest. We're gonna begin with using some of this contact paper that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And all I did is I measured the height of my lid going around that curve, and that was 11 and a half inches. I also measured the width of my lid, which was exactly 18 inches, which was exactly the same width as what the contact paper was. All I'm doing is I cut out my 11 and a half by 18 inch piece of contact paper and there's a grid on the back side to help you cut it out easier. And I just place that inside my lid. I'm not taking the backing off from it so the sticky part is stuck in there permanently. I'm just simply putting the paper on there with the backing still on. Then I'm putting about a half inch slit to an inch slits in the corners until I can just kind of bend the corners backwards and tuck it in and have it all in there. And now it looks great in there. It brightened that lid up and it's perfect for going and making a nice spring floral inside there. And when I'm done, I can simply take that contact paper right out because I did not use the sticky part. Now, what I have here in this large bag is just a bag of greenery that I've picked up from the thrift store and from garage sales over this past year. And I just, every time I pick up something of some used greenery, I just kind of tend to throw it in this great big bag. And then when I need it, it's there. And people throw away this greenery thinking it's dirty, it's dusty, you can't use it. And let me tell you, wash it off and it's as good as new. I also picked up some of these sunflowers for a quarter a piece at my thrift store. I have this bunch of flowers that I got. I got most of these from Dollar Tree and a couple of the orange ones I picked up from Walmart. I also picked up this three block package of floral foam from Walmart. It was $2.47 for a three block thing of floral foam and so it's actually cheaper getting it at Walmart than at Dollar Tree. Now here you can see the greenery close up. You can see it is filthy, dirty, it's gross, but you know what? Just rinse it off under some cold water, use some paper towel, dry it off, and now look, it looks brand new and people were getting rid of this, why spend a lot of money on it when you can get it for pennies and just simply wash it? So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're just gonna put a bunch of this floral. Some of these are small picks, that's fine. We'll poke some of it into our floral foam. Others we're just gonna kinda lay in there until we kinda fill this up with some of our greenery. And the one thing you want to do is, if you have it, try and add in a little bit different color of your greenery so not everything's all just one solid kind of color or muted color because you want a little interest. Now here you can see how this pick has been used before, but that's fine. 
I'm just going to go ahead and poke this right into our floral foam. I have a couple of these ferns that were in there. I'm going to go and put these here on the corners in the back just to give it a little bit more width to our arrangement here. And plus it's just adding a little bit different dimension to it, having some of the different colors, some of the different types of textures. That's something that I always really like in my floral arrangements. Now that's looking pretty good as far as our greenery goes. Now I have some of these hydrangeas. These are the green hydrangeas from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to leave them all on the stem here, but kind of spread them out a little bit and just go ahead and add that whole bunch right in there. Just like that. I'm going to do the same on the other side trying to keep everything looking very symmetrical. And that's looking good. I like all the different variations of green that we have going here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add these in. It's just going to be one more type of green. And I really like that. So let me just take this tag off from these daisies here and we'll add these in. And again, I'm just going to keep these all on our bush and I'm just going to put that whole stem of our daisy bush right down in the center there. And now you can see the interest with all the different greens. Now we're going to go ahead and add some of these dahlias in here. And these I'm going to go ahead and cut off from the stems. And these I did pick up at Walmart. And these were 97 cent stems. And we'll just start here right in the center on the lower part. And let's add one on each side of that. Remembering to keep things symmetrical, so we added one in the center on the bottom, so let's put one on each side of that. And we're just poking that right into our floral foam. And now let's add one up above. Again, remembering to just keep the idea of keeping a triangular shape in mind. And I'm liking the way that's looking so far. I'm going to go ahead and add another one over here on this side. And now I'm going to add one to the other side. And I'm liking the way that is. That orange is really giving it that little bit of a pop. And now I'm going to take some of these daisies that I picked up at my thrift store. And I got these for a quarter a piece. And I'm just going to go ahead and randomly poke in a few of these around. Just giving it that nice spring look to it, that springy, summery, just nice, bright floral look. Now I'm going to put one here on this corner. And so again, I'm going to go ahead and get another one and put it in on the other corner. And I'm liking the way it's looking so far. Now we'll go ahead and add one up here. Now you can see how that contact paper in the back, even though most of it's getting color covered, the part that isn't, it's still adding that little extra pop of white, which is giving it that nice, fresh, more spring, summery feel to it instead of the dark brown. Now this I put in here and I really like it. I got it from the Dollar Tree. But in the end, I decide I don't like it. So I do end up going and taking this out. But I thought I needed something to hang down a little bit more, but after I got some more things in, I decided I didn't like it. And so I do remove that. 
Now this is some white hydrangeas that I also picked up from the Dollar Tree. And we're just going to put these around just kind of spreading that white on around. Now this is actually more of an off white instead of a true white, but I really like the way it kind of pulls that back contact paper out. It makes that pop a little bit more and it just makes all the other colors of our florals really pop. Just having that extra fresh white look in the front and everything as well. things are looking pretty good right now again i'm just gonna move that front white one that's hanging down i just really didn't care for that i'm gonna reposition these ferns that are in the corners now i'm gonna add in a little bit more texture with these cattails that we also picked up from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and add these right here in the back and I'm going to go and do this on each side once again. That yellow just kind of really helps everything pop and stand out and I really like having a lot of texture in my floral arrangements. I think it adds a lot of interest. So we're going to put this right over here. I'm liking that. It's just taking that and really expanding it. Now we're going to add some of this Pussy Willow right here in the middle. I did cut this one down a little bit. And I also purchased this at the Dollar Tree. And now I'm going to add just a little bit of this cattail in here. It's pink. I'm not sure if I really loved the pink in with everything else, but I wanted just a little bit more of the texture going on. And I had the pink. It ends up looking just kind of like a wildflower garden or a wildflower arrangement. I'm going to add just a little bit of these lilacs because now you can see I took out that front white floral piece and now I'm going to just add some of these white lilacs right here in the front to make up for taking that other out. And I'm going to add one right in the center as well. And I think I'm liking that a lot better. I really like the way it just seems like a wildflower arrangement. Like it was just kind of grew this way. And here it is. I'm going to be using it up on the top of my kitchen cupboards. And in a couple weeks, I'll do a... Uh, tour showing everything in my kitchen on top of all my cupboards and show you exactly how I'm using everything. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks so much for watching!